hello friends welcome again and this is my new project online bidding system and i have developed this project in java jsp and mysql the jdk version i am using is jdk 1.8 mysql version is 5.6 and for connecting java jsp with mysql i am using the mysql connector which you will get from mysql.org website right this is a web application development so for front-end application we have used html css and javascript some of the jquery library also i have used like for form validations and for many more things i have used uh, uh, jquery libraries right for running this project i am using uh, tomcat version 7 right but if you have higher tomcat version then you can also configure that project on that higher tomcat version but we have tested this project on Tomcat version 7. So these are the technology stacks which we have used for developing this project online bidding system. Right? So let's start with the functionality go through that what we have implemented, what are the functionalities available inside this project. So once you run this project, you will get this home page. You can see this is the home page, right? And there's a slider running on the home page, right? You can change the image. This is a home page, this is about us, and this is also a static page. This is a FAQ, and this is also a static page, right? The seller from here, you will be able to see all of the sellers which have registered on the website. And if you click on the seller, then you will be able to see the product of the seller which he has posted. And if you click on the products, you will be able to see the details of the product, right? Means on which you have to bid right currently there is a bid amount right here you need to enter the bid amount and after that bid but you can't bid on any of the product without login so this is a seller login uh, sellers this is all products means this is a filter product if you click on the seller then you will be able to see all of the product which belongs to that seller but once you click on the all products you will be able to see all of the product which has been posted by all of the sellers right if you click on any of the product then you will be able to see the product details of that uh, of that product right these are register right here you can uh, register as a seller or register as a customer right so there are three types of login available in the system the first one is admin second one is a seller third one is a customer all has their own rights all has their own dashboards right this is a login so let me show you the seller registration once you click on the seller registration you can see all of the all of the fields which you need to fill this is a customer registration from where you will be able to enter all of the fields and you can register as a customer this is a login from here you can see there are three types of login available here admin login seller login and customer login once you click on the admin login, you will be able to log in as an admin. Same for the seller and the customer. We are contact us page. This is a static contact us page. We are not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database. Right? Even we are not sending any type of email and SMS from this page. So I am logging as an admin first. So once you click on the admin, then the user ID is admin and the password is test. Once you log in, then you will get this dashboard, right? Here you can see there are a lot of menus available. Here you will be able to find all of the options where you have to work, right? Seller, I have already explained you all products. I have already explained you. This is the add new. So the same uh, menu option which is available here in the dashboard will be available in the add new section. So here, this is the add new customer. Here, from here, you can add the customer, add new system users means system user uh, is an admin right admin can add more admin this add product from here admin can add the product so you can see this is a seller name on which we uh, that product belongs to be seller this is a add seller from here admin can add the seller right this is a report system user report all of the users who has admin rights will be displayed here this is a customer report all of the customers it will be displayed here you can edit the customer right you can see edit the customer this is a product report from here you can see all of the product which has been uploaded in the system this is a seller report this is all are the sellers and these are the product bits 
right you can see these are the bits right and this is accepted by the seller so that's why it's showing accepted right this is a change password from where admin can change the password right and after that he will be able to log in with this updated password and log out once you click on the logout the above menu has been changed because it's session driven these menus are different for different user types so you can see the menu has been changed now i am going to log in as a seller right so the seller user id is seller at the gmail.com the password is test right so you can see the menu options are very limited for seller because seller has different types right you can see the header menus are also different here you can see add product from here seller can add his product product bits he will be able to see all of the product bits right this is a product report all of the product which belong to that seller will be displayed here and the my account from where seller can update his account and the logout once you click on the logout, then your system session will be expired. Logout, right? Now login as an admin. So once you click on the login, click on the admin login, and the user ID is a gmail.com password is test. I think the login and the sorry customer login. Amit gmail.com password is test. So this is the customer dashboard. You can see this is the customer dashboard. Right here, you can see all products. My bids and your bids are accepted. My accounts and all. Right now, I am going to bid on a product. Right, once you click on this, suppose I want to bid on this on this product. Right, okay. So, here the product minimum bid amount is this one, and I am bidding for 18k. Right. Once you click on the play bid for this project, you can see your bid for the product has been submitted successfully, right? And it's showing that you have already bid. You can't bid on a product two times, right? Once you click on the my bids, then you will be able to see it's pending, right? Means it's pending, means seller has not seen it, right? Once you click on the logout, and I'm going to log in as a seller. Seller login. And the seller user, I already tell you, seller at the gmail.com and password is test. And once you click on product bids, oh, I think uh, he has bid on different seller, right? Different seller products. Suppose I'm going to uh, Froja Jordan single seater. I'm going to bid on this as a customer, right? So login. Customer login, admit at the gmail.com and password is test and all products. And uh, this is the product on which I am going to bid. And this one 1200, sorry, yes, 12,000 bid for this product. You can see you have already bid out. Now I'm going to log in and as a seller. So user ID accelerated gmail.com password is test and product bits. You can see because seller can approve only their own bits, right? He will not be able to approve the other bits. So once you click on the accept, then this has been accepted and customer will get notification on the dashboard. Your bid has been accepted and you can buy that product, right? So this is the full flow of the system, online bidding system, right? As I told you earlier, this is a major project developed in Java, JSP, and MySQL. And if you need more functionality in this project, just put it into the comment. I will incorporate the changes. I will make this project more better and better according to your requirements. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.